All right, we're back again. Another video. And we're talking about um, the narcissist can make you believe in them or still believe in them in any type of way. You're screwed. Point blank, flat out, bottom line. And this is this is major because this is what keeps people in that yo-yo, that back and forth, that self-doubt, that, you know, toying with your mind and going over and over things and, you know, trying to figure out whether or not you should make this move or make that move is because within you the narcissist has still managed to have some type of core um, acceptance and belief from you. And that is critical in understanding why and how they're going to keep you stuck. Right? Many people, you know, y you haven't really faced the fact that if you and I, I got to keep re reiterating this, if you know, if you feel if you're coming to watch these videos, some of you are trying to get an understanding. Some of you are here because, yeah, it's all lining up. You truly believe and feel without a shadow of a doubt that this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a narcissist. So let's take it from there. If that's what you feel you're dealing with, then you have to go with it full heartedly. You can't, hmm, yeah, but maybe, and then still, you know, treat them as though they're not the opposition. That's a conflict. If you feel, if you're here and you feel that you're with the narcissist, then you must move a certain way in order to protect yourself and in order to get away from these type of individuals ASAP. And that means you have to be aware of what they're trying to ultimately do to you. And that's to destroy you. Right? So, Number one, your belief in them in any way from what you've seen from when y'all first started out of interacting and it would tell you things, even their background of how they came up. You know, so many of them play victim. They make it seem like, oh, it was so harsh and all these things happened to them when they were the authors of majority of what happened to them. They orchestrated it all. They instigated it all. And then now they're telling you a victim story so that you can feel sorry and not be as likely to abandon them because they always tell you how everyone else abandoned them. No one was there for them. They don't have anybody. And that's to play on someone who is empathic to play on their emotions, their mind, their 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 need to want to intervene, their need to not let someone down, right? Because many of you have been in situations where if, or maybe not, I won't assume, but situations that will cause you to feel guilty if you don't intervene. To where if you see someone falling and you just stand back and say, well, you brought it on your own. I can't I can't bail you out of this. Many of you don't have the heart to just sit back and let them face their own cause and effect, their own karma. Many of you will intervene because you can't just stand to see them go through what they went through and you, you've listened to their sob story of how they came up and no one was there. And then here you are doing the same thing that they said everyone else did to them. And you don't want to be a part of the, uh, the, the by story of 
what everyone else done to them. So you want to be that individual who does come to the rescue. And that's where you're making a uh, detrimental mistake in doing so. Yes, folks, this calls for courage. The courage to be able to say, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not buying this. And looking at it from an intellectual position. Knowing that if these things are happening. And now it's with me and it's happening again, this is where you have to wake up and understand, wait, uh, -uh there's a pattern. Here's the pattern. Because now it's happening again. But now it's with you. This is where this is a critical moment of catching these things. And saying, wait a minute, there's an this is an ongoing pattern. Something's not right because the things that they told you in the past that would happen, you're now seeing it with you. And this is where you have to remove yourself emotionally. And this calls for wisdom and knowledge to say, hmm, all these other individuals that this happened and now I'm seeing it. It can't just have been everyone else. There's one common denominator and it has to be them. And this is what you have to understand and what you have to see. Um, in that instance and knowing. That. Um, most of the things that the narcissist is telling you is to only unguard you. To take your guard away, to put you in a position of feeling as though you are to help them and not abandon them. And this is how they keep you stuck. But it's also a way that they can ultimately punish you at the same time because they're going to milk you uh, of a lot of your resources, you know, of a lot of your support. Only to find out from you that you should have trust your first judgment, your better judgment to leave that alone in the first place. Because it never pans out in your favor, but it's through the belief, the belief in the narcissist, the belief that they have some sort of good in them. I hear this from a lot of clients that. They believed that there was some parts of them that was good. There were some parts of them that really loved them. When in all actuality, there's no parts of the narcissist that ever loved you or cared for you. They pretended to get what they can get out of you. And this is a hard pill to swallow and to accept from people. So they continue forward. Trying to be of aid and assistance to someone who's going to screw them in the end. They don't catch on to the game. They don't realize what's going on. They still believe in the narcissist. They still have this, this drop of hope to give the benefit of the doubt. When the patterns of the behavior is constantly repeating itself over and over and over again. And very oftentimes it's reckless and self-sabotaging. That's another thing that's confusing. Most of you will say, why would they do that when they're already getting the help and stuff? Because narcissists by default always self-sabotage things. Yeah, they're going to mess it up in the end. Even though things are going smooth, things are going good. Deep down inside, the narcissist feels that they don't deserve it. They know they don't. Because they know they're bullshitting you. They know that they're lying to you. And it's only a matter of time before you're going to get wise enough. And before you're going to be seen enough to know that you're not going anywhere. 
you're going to go in circles on that track that you're on. And it's at that point, it's only at that point, will a person be able to say, all right, I'm out of here. But by then, so many of you have went through um, so much, um, you know, you've lost things, you've you've gotten so deeply involved believing in them that you've put yourself in a, in a very uh, critical situation uh, that leads to a lot of unfortunate events following um, the, the ultimate uh, separation ending of you and the narcissist. And it's that belief in them. And this is why I say, if you see the signs, if you're seeing the signs, and if you really truly believe you're dealing with a narcissist, do not second guess any of the moves to get away from them, to rid yourself of them, and especially not put yourself in any more situations to to do things collectively with them. This is the time that you should start cutting things off and moving forward. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a good one.